Hi there folks, yes, as you can see, expat taffy is back. Here you are folks, use that idiot phase 52, a moron that uses a photo of Buzz Aldrin as his icon, a moron who insists this photo is genuine and taken on the moon, but as I've shown the idiot, Buzz Aldrin has got three different left arms, and this idiot still thinks this is genuine and taken on the moon. Watch for a series of videos with this title page, Apollo Shells, time this one was phased out, a series of videos displaying the insane comments of the NASA Nutter Phase 52. We're going to make it impossible for him to deny anything because I'll be copying his comments and making videos based on each one of his comments. But, 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 as I have shown, over the last six years, I've got rid of about 40 of these NASA nutcases, showing you how to recognize a composited photo. If they took a photo of an astronaut, but the background was wrong, they cut around the photo of the astronaut, and they put it on a fake background, and then took another photo of it. That's how they done it. But that had the disadvantage of all around the edge where they cut with the scissors, if you magnify the photo and brighten it up, you'll see it left a mottled edge all the way around. That's what they done, they cut this photo out, and then they put it on a black background and took another photo of it. Let me give you the proof of that. Okay folks, here you are, I've cropped around that astronaut here, and brightened it up and take a look at what you can see. And here is that massive hangar, folks, that I told you, all the Apollo 11 photos were faked inside this hangar. There you are, folks. Take a look at the structure, the square grid structure of this building, and look at the lights. The lights in there are what you see as the green crosses on the photo and the metal square grid structure is what you see in the sky in that photo. That photo was taken inside this building, folks. Inside this building and that's what's given. <laughs> Now folks, as I've told you, all them Apollo 11 photos were initially done inside that big hangar. What I've done here now is given you a demonstration of what the photos were initially like. Here's the photo that moron phase 52 left for that other poster. 
Now, I can tell you one thing. This is the biggest piece of evidence of fakery throughout the whole of the Apollo program. I immediately told that moron that I'd done a number of videos proving this photo to be 100% fake. It shouldn't be in a photo gallery, should it? And to prove that I'm right there, that photo has now been removed. It's been deleted from the photo gallery. There's a crop section of that photo brightened up and zoomed up, resized. Now pay particular attention to the area around Buzz Aldrin's pack, his aerial and some parts of the lem there. You'll see the compositing modeling, and that's because, as I told you before, this black sky is fake. Coming back to this photo here, that Phase 52 thinks was genuine and taken on the moon. What I want you to all do now is all test this idiot, Phase 52, and ask him what these black objects are. That's going to prove you are a mentally insane idiot and get you kicked off YouTube. <laughs> and there's going to be a lot more coming up. Okay, folks, take a look at this short video clip coming up. Warning. Reach it out here. And we put punch and gun. Not it. Tackle. Rest profit. Looking at that little crab sat on the ground after it landed, I measured it with this, this small rule. And on my large screen, it's one centimeter across. And I measured the road by the side, and it's four centimeters across. That means the road is four times the width of that little lander. Now if that little lander, the right measurement, is eight foot across the feet, that road should be four times eight. Have we got that? Phase four times eight is 32. Now does that road look like it's 32 feet across to you? Of course not. It's fake. Another thing to notice, what happens to objects far and far away? The further away they are, the smaller and smaller they get. Okay, one last time. These are small, but the ones out there are far away. <laughs> Why did you think they are testing that craft there when they never done it with the limb?
Here's that experimental lander of NASA's that they call the Mighty Eagle. Now, that's supposed to be eight foot across the feet. And look at the height of it. Compared by that man, if he's six foot high, you can say it's five foot high. But that is not the craft you see making a vertical takeoff and landing in that clip. That video clip you've just seen with the lander raising and lowering, it's fake for many a reason. What that is, is a small model only about 18 inches diameter. Actually for getting the uh, catalyst warmed up and ready for flight, it's uh, also fun to see the lander just jump right off that pad, the chop, and it uh, is the closest representative um, soil to lunar soil. Now what about that folks? That brings us to the end of the video. Have any of you seen anything there to back up the claims of that mentally insane moron phase 52 that they tested the LEM in space? Every single photo they got of the LEM in space is fake. 100% and it's got whistleblowers clues to prove it. As you've seen with that mobile phone. I bet they're trying to tell us that's the phone they used to phone Nixon. Well what about that phase? Are you going to come out and face the music on this? Or is this going to be the one you're going to back out on? You took a long time coming out on the last one, didn't you? Bat, bat, bat.